So here I am in a uh, school and church parking lot, and I see a little bit of a gravel spot here where, like, blue jay flying over. Did you see a shadow? And uh, <clears throat> and I'm just looking at some of the dirt here where I'm going around and looking for various kinds of rocks. <clears throat> I might come down and check, say, check this one out. I might choose it. Looks like it's a piece of granite. I you could use that for my kit, so I'll put that into my egg carton, which I have been uh, collecting a few stones that I'm going to sort out and wash up. And we'll give another video on how to do this. But here's an example as you kind of walk along here and you start finding different kinds of stones. And whoa, look at this one right here. Coming in, zeroing in, zeroing in. Now this is a nice little sample. Whoa, what is this? Look at that purple pinkish tone with some flecking in it. It looks very micro crystalline, igneous rock. I would categorize this one as a light colored igneous rock micro crystalline very fine grained crystals and this is a piece of rhyolite one of my favorite rocks you'll see up on the north shore all over the place if you ever travel up along the edge of lake superior so this is how you can do this activity by going around and checking for here's a look at this one coming in with my shadow you can see i have ooh, this looks like a piece of granite that's been squeezed by heat and pressure. It looks like it's probably a little bit of a nisic rock. Anyway, that's the kind of thing that you're going to be doing.